how to change the name of an existing business on CAC. This tutorial is actually specific for a business name change of name. Okay, so if you have um, successfully registered, reserved the name, but you don't know how to carry on the next process, then this particular clip is for you. So I'm going to take you through, okay? So just sit back and I want to appreciate you for coming back to my channel to get this information down, okay? So I'm going to, the um, name we are going to be using for this practical is uh, Labrana. So I'm just going to search the Labrana, okay? So I'm going to search the Labrana and this is it right here. We want to change this concept to collections. So the name we reserved is um, Labrana Collections and the name with the business registration number is concept. It's actually um, carrying the concept. So we want to change just this word right here. Okay. So I'm going to click on proceed to dashboard. Okay. And uh, we are going to locate uh, the change of name on our dashboard, which is right here here so i'm going to click on it and i already started an application so i'll just click on that not submitted and i'm going to click on delete because i want you to see the full process of this application so i'm going to tap on this back button and start change of name so i'm going to click on start process and the requirement states that you need um to change the name, applicant must have obtained approval for the new name, which we already have our AV code. The, that's the availability code. And then we are going to fill out the form. So I'm going to type in that AV code right here. I'm going to type it right here. So let me go on to my WhatsApp and get the screenshot that I sent to the client. Okay, so I'm going to um, type that 171. I'm already seeing not no error. I've, I haven't even typed everything since three two seven five eight three five six. So this is it. So I'm going to click on start, and you can see we can edit anything here. We can edit anything at all. All right. So I'm going to be using um the date. I'm actually making this payment. I don't need to backdate because if you backdate, you might be asked to make another payment. So I'm going to be using um, today's date is um, 5th, I'm going to be using 5th July, okay? And then I'm going to be fixing the name of the proprietor here, not your name, not my name. Maybe you can use your name, but best just use the proprietor's details. So I'm going to get the proprietor's details and I'm going to fix the name right there. But in that case, let me just type in this pro 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 I don't even know what I'm going to spell it. Pro 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 look at the spelling right here. Pro pro to okay. So and then I'm going to go ahead to get the name and after that I'm going to click on save and continue. If you notice, I changed the date to 6 because it was already 12 a.m. Okay, so it was already 12 a.m. I was shooting this video so late at night and it's already clocked 12 a.m. So I had to change it to the following day. So um, I'm going to click on proceed to payment and I'll be making and it's not even moving. Okay, so I feel that CAC portal is actually done at the moment but we are going to make sure that this clip is completed and uploaded for you to catch up the knowledge so i'm going to click this and i'm actually going to wait you can see it's still um, rolling right here okay so it's rolling right here and let's kind of give it some time let's give it some time okay so i want to be dropping this important clip for most of us that are not familiar with such that are not familiar with 
most of the things on CAC. You might be wondering how I got that AV code. So I reserved the name on the pre incorporation dashboard and it was approved. Okay, it was approved and I clicked on the approval notes and I saw the code right there and I copied it and used it to get to this point. So you need to reserve the name or the pre-incorporation, get an approval and of course you head on to complete your thing. So if you don't know how to carry on that name reservation for change of name, you click on this new name reservation right here, you click on it and it's going to open up this dashboard. Of course you choose your classification which is a business name then the specific type so proprietor or partnership i don't know what you registered i don't know what specific type you used in your registration but if it's a so proprietor you click on it and then the proposed name which you want to like remember that we are removing the concept we want the name to be collections so what i did was that i i, I feel the laprana collections okay because that is the name that i want so if you have a second option you can go ahead to do that then you click on save and continue all right so let me just because i don't want to create a form that i'm not going to use so i'm going to go back to the dashboard not submit and let me show you an example of what i mean by clicking on save and continue so i'm going to use this name right here i'm going to click on continue and um let's assume that this is what we want to reserve this is main one reserve so i'll click on save and continue and on my reason for av search i'm going to click on change of name and not name substitution so i'm going to type in labrana labrana okay labrana and this is what we want to change so if you observe we have um this um what do you call it registration number right here so this process is not correct to use for a name that's that is already carrying a registration number you can see right here that it said where an entity undergoing registration is required to change the name so we can use this name substitution instead we use that of change of name so la prana and also okay let me just finish with this black runner let me just finish with this part so i'm going to click on this and if you observe this arrow number is carrying a red asterisk meaning that it is compulsory okay so you don't need to stress yourself once you click on this lap runner let me, once you click on this blue stop right here it's going to automatically fill right here so in the name substitution the red asterisk is not compulsory because they company or the business name is still undergoing registration and has not been issued a registration number so after you make your payment which is 500 naira when you click on save and continue you have to wait for your name to be approved or denied whichever whatever the case may be then after that you have to get the av code from the approval notes so your reservation would not be carrying this start registration not that all these names that you're seeing here without start registration doesn't is um, actually a change of name but it's because these names has been submitted but for a change of name it doesn't carry start registration because that application will be completed on the post incorporation okay so that is how to get your av code that is your availability code then after you've gotten that code from the pre-incorporation then take it to the post incorporation this is the post incorporation look at it right here this is the post incorporation and this is the pre-incorporation okay so you take it right here and follow the process and it's going to bring it to this page so we are waiting for the payment to come up so if this payment doesn't come up i'm going to cut this clip and once i feel that the portal is okay for me to continue i'm going to continue the video and um, yeah 
you're going to see everything about this change of name on CST.